Hey, welcome back to the video. Do I sound different? Well, I got a new VR headset. That's right, I pre-ordered the Quest 3S and I got it and stuff. It's super cool, I no longer have drift. I can use both my hands, it's great. Maybe my voice sounds different too. I have not checked out my voice. This is not my first recording though, but I still haven't checked out my voice. So hopefully I sound better. But of course, today is going to be a smaller news video. There's not a whole lot of news inside of Reckon right now, but I still thought I'd post. You guys have seen the title and the thumbnail. We're talking about an update to updates. We got a little announcement from Reckon developers and here's what it says. But before we get started, you should totally use my code in game. It helps me a lot. It supports me just basically like I support a creator code. If I see you in game with it, be sure to tell me and I might gift you. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll give you a few seconds. Did you do it? Okay, cool. Let's start. I heard y'all like updates, so I have an update for your updates. We're switching up how we do updates. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? And you can read all about what we're up to by clicking this link. Now if you guys click this link, we get a little article from Rec Room inside of Creator Hub saying an update to updates. They start off in saying, hey y'all, we have an update about updates. Our update is that we're not updating this week. We also wanted to give you context onto why that is and what we've been working on. This article is going to talk about a Nintendo Switch a ton, so just to get ahead of things, spoiler alert, this is not a Nintendo Switch announcement post yet. We'll let you know it as soon as we have a launch date and make sure to sign up for updates so you don't miss out. So what is this updates update about, you say? It's about how we make one of the best things about Rec Room a reality, playing with your friends on whatever device you have. To do that, we're developing developing and updating on nine different platforms, all with different systems and requirements every week, which takes up a lot of coordination. And as some of you may have noticed, we had to take a little beat here to line some things up for this to keep working in our future world of 10 platforms. So we're switching up our update circles in preparation for Nintendo Switch and doing some major trial runs to make sure everything works like it should. We moved now to a major and minor update schedule. This means we'll have a major update once a month on every platform and smaller minor patches in the other weeks. For our besties that read the ship notes, major updates will be titled update, and minor updates will be titled patch from now on. Gotta note that in the old noggin for whenever I make these news videos. But we're not on 10 platforms right now, so what are we up to? We're doing a little trial run of this and a new way of doing things a few times before we do it for realsies. Behind the scenes, we're working on getting these new systems set up and testing them out. That's why you've been seeing smaller ship notes and updates from us the past few weeks, as well as some temporary changes to the rec center. Like as you guys have been seeing the deletion of some stuff like the event board, creative collection, Club, Creative Academy, stuff like that. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention in a video, but they got rid of the event board too. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. Broadcasting's also gone as well, if you guys are, you know, event people, but that's coming back soon. They're just probably working on it or something. That's my guess. But this doesn't mean that we haven't been working on tons of new features and important fixes. Queued up and ready to go in our next major update are some important fixes for players' tags, not showing up in Rooms 2.0 rooms, tons of updates for the upgraded beam, we'll have more on this later, and some exciting new features too. We're trying these updates to you ASAP, so we thank you for your patience as we get ready for launch. We love getting our updates out as quickly as possible, so watch this space. We'll update you when we have news. And of course, I'll be covering said news. There was also some developer talk with the community and a Requiem developer basically talking about this newest article. Jay confirms, while there's still going to be updates every week, minor updates are, well, minor. They don't add any versioning changes and are usually super small stuff, so they should be relatively small in download size. And yeah, the rec center changes, uh, like all the deletion we've been seeing going on, are related to Switch prep work, hence why I wasn't sure I could say something about it or not. When asked if we're losing the rec center mirror for performance purposes, Jay said no, performance was not the reason why changes just happened. Pick up there, but happened. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I know the exact reason, I most likely can't talk about it, so that was pretty interesting. And I've seen some pretty cool UGC that creators are making right now. Just to note, one, I actually saw a really good UGC creation where the character is just a skeleton. This person had made Sans and Papyrus from Undertale and stuff like that, but this skeleton body type, if you can even call it that, is UGC. So I thought that would be pretty cool to share on the channel and stuff, and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Thoughts on that, and the update that we just covered. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to see some longer Rec Room news, then you guys should see it on that side of the screen and stuff. Be sure to go click it. I know you want to go click it. And now that it's the end of the video, I just want to say this new headset's amazing. Can't wait to make more stuff with it. I just hope my controllers don't get drift again. That's it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm a Meta affiliate too. So if you buy anything Meta, 
use my link link in the description anyways though that's pretty much it with this video bye